My name is Nathan Chun, and I am in, in the Human Centered Design and Engineering program, and my planned date of graduation is May 2023. I would say the Human Centered Design and Engineering program really focuses on UX design in particular. I really think that there's a stress on designing the user experience in general, and a lot of that comes with designing things for user interfaces for apps or um, the phones or websites, things like that. And I think that the program does a really good job of teaching you things like guidelines and principles to follow when you're doing these kinds of things and allows you to kind of set yourself up for like various different kinds of work within UX design, whether that's like research or design or like product development. I think my favorite thing has to be the professors and how accessible they are. I think in this program, in any of my classes, there's anywhere between like 10 to 20 students max. And so whenever I would email the professors or ask them to meet for office hours, they were super accessible and they were always willing to help me pursue the things that I wanted to pursue and not just the classes, but also outside of the classes, whether it's like giving me guidance in my career or different advice on various opportunities I might want to take or pursue. I think like the professors really make you feel like you're taken care of and that they're really looking out for you while you're studying in the program. I would have to say it's the capstone course. Um, I think it, ironically enough, it was the least class-like structure course that I took at this program. It was basically like we had individual meetings with the advisor and our capstone group every week. But I think that because of that structure or the lack thereof actually, it kind of forced us to be much more responsible compared to other courses where you'd have like weekly deadlines or like uh, homework that was due by like a certain day. The capstone is very much just like, we have two presentations in both semesters and these are the dates and it's up to you guys to kind of figure it out and get your steps on track to figure out uh, the timing of all of that. And so I think that like having that freedom and also the ability to kind of explore whatever we really wanted to in our capstone was what made it probably my favorite class. My selected career honestly can go into various different industries. There's UX design, UX research, and UI UX design. And UX research, I feel like I really learned a lot through my advisor, Dr. Kim. He kind of took me under his wing and I joined his research group, learned a lot about the research process and like what it really means to put out high level science. And then with UI UX design, I feel like the, the coursework really helped in that sense because a lot of my projects in the courses really focused on developing clean and like usable UIs for various apps or websites or mobile interfaces. And then for actual UX design, I think that the program also gave me a lot of opportunity to explore what it's like doing end-to-end -end design, not just for apps and uh, websites, but for physical products as well. And so the program gave me a good taste of all the different kinds of things that I could probably go into. And so, yeah, I think I'm pretty well prepared for any kind of career that might come away. I have been doing research with my advisor, Dr. Kim, and four other team members now. Like I mentioned before, it's, it's really helped me develop my skills in UX research and also kind of taught me the process of how to like kind of put out high level science and how to conduct real research. And I think like that was probably one of the most beneficial experiences that I've had coming into this program. I think that the fact that it's a known to be as like a commuter campus, but still has so much livelihood, I think is, very, is something that I really wasn't expecting. And I feel like the community, even though like a lot of people are afraid that it's not like the, you know, the Ann Arbor campus that has like the, a lot of students living on campus, it's still very like lively and you can still meet a lot of really cool people. And there's always people who are in the UC. And so I thought that was a really good opportunity to get to know people. Yeah. I think that because almost all of my classes were remote, I had to learn how to do a lot of UX design work remotely and using a lot of online tools like Miro or Mural or Google Jamboard, things like that. And so learning how to do a lot of collaboration through Zoom and potentially a remote position in the future, I feel like was very beneficial for me because I not only got to experience those online classes as a part of being at the school, but also I had a few in-person classes as well. So I got a, like a good mix of both of those experiences. 
And with just kind of the climate of jobs right now, there's a lot of hybrid positions and a lot of remote positions. And so I think the coursework, the way it was structured at UM Dearborn kind of really helps me transition into a position like that in the future.